what's happening in San Francisco is similar to what's happening across the country. We have a vast degree of income inequality that the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. So I think that to address homelessness, there's no one solution. It's these underlying systemic issues that need to all be addressed to be able to allow people to truly have an opportunity to prosper and to succeed and to achieve the American dream. One would begin by making sure someone has a roof over their head because right now in our budget, 1% goes to housing on the federal level. Well, and 50% goes to the military. Uh, so what we need to do is increase Section 8 housing to make sure that we have more government-subsidized housing so people can have a roof over their heads. Because if you don't have a roof over your head, where are you going to change? Where are you going to shower? Where are you going to get ready to go to a job interview, for example? Or how are you gonna, where are you going to come back after you go to school? You need a house. A house is, 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 is crucial. And what we need to do is in San Francisco, you have a lot of empty, vacant apartments that you have these landlords sitting on them waiting for you know the, the highest bidder to come in and they can just keep it you know empty for a month or two we got to institute a vacancy tax to make sure that you know if there's someone who is middle income and, and wants to you know have this house that you're not just gonna wait oh I'll wait you get tax on it and that tax can go into more housing or workforce training programs you gotta have a national vacancy tax that's one thing education we have the money to enact the system where we could have free two-year and four-year higher education at no cost for all families and individuals making less than $150,000. Uh, it would cost $47 billion of the share from the federal government. Yet the National Defense Reauthorization Act of 2017 that was voted on by you know the majority of the Democrats as well raised the budget $80 billion. So when we say the argument we don't have the money to do it, we do have the money to do it. It's just where are our priorities? We have a budget that reflects the interests of special interests and not that of the American people. Also, what we need to do is uh, in Stockton right now, the mayor, Michael Tubbs, you know, this young millennial mayor is, is um, championing this experimental universal basic income program, which I think is great. And I'd love to see how that, the, how that works out. And I think that's something that we should seriously be talking about in the future. And of course, single payer health care. I don't want to see any of my neighbors or any of my friends or any residents of San Francisco or any people across the country lose their home or go bankrupt because they can't afford to fight a disease they never wanted in the first place. We need to make sure that everyone has health care as a right. We need to have adequate mental health resources and, and, and opportunities to, to get better. We, we need you know, drug addiction. There's an opioid crisis across this country and in San Francisco. And one thing that I'm glad San Francisco is starting to do, like in uh, Canada, is safe injection sites to be able to make sure that no one has an overdose and that slowly we can, we can help people siphon off and, and, and get better because you know these – there are so many issues that, 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 that encompass homelessness. And the only way to address it is to make sure that we have all these other things moving and the wheels turning so we can create a system that doesn't just help the rich prosper or those who are already in power prosper, but it gives everybody you know, an opportunity to, to succeed. So that's why it, it's, it's a comprehensive effort but I think when you can elect regular everyday people with the best intentions of the community at heart, we could sit down and, and, and do something that really helps change the course of this country. Because San Francisco has a vast homelessness problem, and many of them, too, are veterans. When I walk down the street and, and I see you know, the sign saying, you know, a veteran, and you know, this is, this is you know, where I served, uh, it breaks my heart because we're putting more and more money in the military – but we don't have the money to help our servicemen and women when they come back home. How does that make sense? So I, we need to have a vast national transparent discussion on our budget. And that should be a priority in 2018 because we got the money to do it. But fortunately, that's not going to where it needs to be. So that's the answer that I have. I hope it answers your question. It's, it's a complex issue. I'm not going to be someone that says I have all the answers. But I'm someone that's willing to listen to my community and to make sure that our budget reflects what the American people want and need. Are you are you saying <laughs> anyway? Um, just kind of pause there. Well, anyway, um, that's weird. Your like face is frozen on this. Can you still hear me though? 